In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a fully dynamic dashboard with the help of multi-selection drop-down. Normally, people use slicer, but the problem of slicer they cannot use on a separate worksheet. For example, in this case, my pivot table calculation on a separate worksheet and I have the graph and the summary detail I want on a separate worksheet. Further, the interface of slicer a little bit hard to use, but look at this, how easily you can select multiple options and everything will dynamically update. For example, you want to see two year summary, you can simply select and everything dynamically update. If you simply hit delete key and select all option, it will automatically show you the summary of every state so how we can develop this amazing dashboard i will show you each and everything in this video consider we have this data set the first thing we need to think about which column we need to use for our multi-selection drop down in this case let's say i want filter based on air state and category so i will insert a new worksheet and i will simply rename drop down the next thing i will copy my header name so I will click on air, hit control key, state and category, control C, go to drop down sheet and simply hit control V. The next thing we need to apply a very simple unique function, but I will apply the unique function on row 3. I will simply write equal, unique, double click, go to data. In this case, I will select B2, drag the mouse down and simply remove the end reference close parenthesis hit enter but in our drop down we have also option for all so i will write all option on row 2 i will write this option for all of my three drop down and now we simply need to update this formula for state and category so state is column f and category is column h i will simply update the reference control c to copy the whole formula double click control v and simply update the reference double click control v so category will be column h the next thing we need to insert a new worksheet for our dashboard i will simply rename this let's say dashboard and now i will select the entire sheet reduce the column width a little bit more and this is a general tip whenever you are designing the dashboard try to do this tip first now i will merge a few columns for my dashboard header now we will create three drop down first thing i will reduce the column a with a little bit more and this is general suggestion whenever you are designing dashboard try to leave the first column so that user can easily see everything now i will merge three columns and simply write the name select here i will do a little bit formatting and now i will merge a few rows and column for my ears so in this case i will merge three rows for here i will change the color to dark blue and now i will copy the same layout hit ctrl c and simply hit ctrl v here and i will update the name select state in this case i will include some more rows because i have more state and simply click on merge seal i will copy the same layout hit ctrl c ctrl v and i will update the name category now i will simply click on air merge cell click on data data validation add rule drop down from a range select data range click here go to drop down sheet click on a to drag the mouse down and simply remove the end reference so in future if you have more ears it will automatically update in our drop down simply hit ok scroll a little bit to the bottom side and simply select allow multiple selection hit done now if i switch to my dashboard my drop down is ready but now i will do a little bit more formatting for now if i just close this data validation rule i need to align on the top also in this case i will select warp text now if i select 2016 and 17 it will show in a nice format and now i will do the same step for state as well as category
and now our drop down is ready if you select multiple option it will display in a nice format now we need to develop our main formula on data tab so whenever we select option let's say year state category they automatically return a true result on the very end i will insert a column and i will simply write helper before making full formula i will teach you concept behind split function if i simply click on state drop down you can see we have comma space comma space on every option so we can separate them using split function open parenthesis what is the text this whole result is my text hit comma and what is the delimiter comma space quotation mark again close parenthesis hit enter and this is how we split our result in multiple cell now we will use the same concept to build our xmatch formula i will switch to my data tab and before writing the formula i will increase the size of my formula bar click on k2 cell and now simply click on formula bar simply write x match open parenthesis what is the search key in this case my search key is column b i will click on b2 drag the mouse down and simply remove the end reference because we don't want to drag and drop the formula every time we have new data set hit comma and now if i click on plus icon we have the lookup range so for lookup range i will apply split function open parenthesis what is the text i will click on dashboard sheet click on air drop down hit comma and what is the delimiter comma space quotation mark again close parenthesis for split function close parenthesis for x match and simply hit done now x page formula return number whenever we found the match the next thing we need to convert this formula to array formula for understanding purpose so if i simply hit control shift enter this will automatically apply array formula and now simply hit enter my formula will automatically auto expand for entire column and you can see we get number now if i click on my dashboard sheet and i simply uncheck 2017 switch to my data tab you will see any result here because we have only one matches now i will use the same concept but before expanding the formula i will remove array formula for now control x to cut the whole formula and we will apply a very easy if condition if open parenthesis click on dashboard sheet and now simply click on air option whenever this equal to all hit comma then we want to return the row number of the sheet so i will simply apply row function open parenthesis click on a to drag the mouse down remove the end reference close parenthesis hit comma and what if the value is wrong so in this case i will simply hit control v close parenthesis for if condition and now again apply control shift enter to apply array formula simply hit enter now you can see it's returned the number and also it's returned the na error for 2017 but if i go to dashboard sheet and i select let's say all option and uncheck 2016 it will return the wrong number and actually this is a number so we can use is number function to get a true and false result now i will switch to my k2 cell again and before updating this formula for other column i will remove array formula again and now i will simply write multiplication sign copy the entire formula and paste it here instead of b5 i will click on dashboard sheet and i will select state which is a b10 and instead of column b we want to match our result on column f and also i will change this b5 to b10 again i will copy the whole formula hit control c write multiplication sign control v in this case i will also update b10 to let's say category which is b17 i will leave a2 to a and x match will use column h for lookup value 
and also I will change this reference to B17. And before applying array formula, we will apply is number function. Open parenthesis and simply close parenthesis on the very end. And now simply hit Control Shift Enter to apply array formula and simply hit enter now this will return true whenever we found the matches based on our drop down the next thing we need to select the entire data set from column a to column k click on insert pivot table and simply create pivot table on a new worksheet the first graph we need to develop is pie chart on which we have the two category we have the total sale amount as well as percentage so for this, I will simply input type on a rows field, total sale amount on a values field, and helper on a filter area. And this is how we can update our pivot table from drop down. Now I will click show all items, filter by condition, and I will click here and simply select the option is equal to, and we will write here true value. So whenever row is true, show only those results in our pivot table. Simply hit OK. And for now, we don't need the grand total. I will simply uncheck this one and look at the total amount. If I go to my dashboard sheet, for example, and instead of all air, I will simply delete and select only 2016. And if I go to pivot table calculation, everything is automatically updated. For now, if I select all of the data set, click on insert and chart, it will insert a basic pie chart. But in Google Sheet, there is no option to show total sale amount along with the field name. So for this, we need to do a little bit customization. For now, I will delete this chart and I will click on D2 cell simply type equal. Select the A2 cell and percent quotation mark space quotation mark again and percent. And now simply type text function, pop in parenthesis, click on B2 cell, hit comma. And for the format, I will simply type dollar space hash comma hash hash. Quotation mark again, close parenthesis, hit enter. And now simply drag this formula down. The next thing I will click on E2 cell, simply type equal, select B2, hit enter and accept suggestion. For the header, I will copy the same name, hit Ctrl C, right click, paste as the value only. And now I will select this data sheet, click on insert chart. And now it will insert the same pie chart, but look at the number. So this is how we can display number along with the field and pie chart automatically calculate the percentage for us. I will simply click hit Ctrl C, go to dashboard sheet, click here Ctrl V and now we will do a little bit modification. Next, we need to create sum of sale by category, but look at the difference. It show everything in descending order. So for this, I will go to pivot table again. For now, I will delete this chart. Select the entire pivot table. This is how you can duplicate a pivot table. Hit Ctrl C. Click here, Ctrl V. I will click on edit option. And for now, I don't want the suggestion. I will close this window. Instead of type, in this case, I want category and everything is okay. We have already helper on a filter fields. So everything is ready. For now, I will off the show total as well. And now to develop a graph, we need to select some empty rows as well, because in future, maybe we have more category. So this is how you can develop dynamic chart in Google Sheet. Now click on insert, click on chart. Instead of pie chart, I want column chart, but I want to sort this chart in descending order. So I will move this a little bit here and I will click on my pivot table. Here you can see ascending, descending. In this case, I want descending order, not by category, but the sum of sale amount. Now I will click Ctrl C, go to my dashboard, 
click here control V The next thing we need to create sale by manager and also we need to show fashion outlet and next look as well. So for this I will go to my pivot table again copy this whole pivot table hit control C click here hit control V for now we need to delete this chart from this sheet. Instead of category I want manager on the columns area I want type. I will off the show total as well and now click on the header and select the entire data set including some blank row click on insert chart in this case I want actually the stake bar chart now I will copy this chart hit ctrl C click on dashboard click here ctrl V and now we need to do a little bit formatting for this chart as well. The next thing we need to develop this monthly sale chart. First I will go to my sheet, select the entire pivot table, hit ctrl C, click here, ctrl V to paste. Instead of category on a rows field, I will input month year. I will off the show total as well. Now it will show you the month in this format. Now it will show us the end of month for each of the date. So we need to format to only display month name and year. So I will select the entire column, click on 123 format, custom date and time format. In this case, I will choose month year format only, apply. And this is how we can format and now I will select the entire data sheet including some blank row click on insert chart and they will automatically insert a line chart in this case you must need to check read label as a text actually I want the smooth line chart so I will click on line chart and actually I want smooth line chart hit ctrl C click on dashboard and click somewhere hit ctrl V. Now I will do a little bit formatting but before formatting let's say I'm going to select any other state. So this is how we can develop this dynamic dashboard. I hope you learned something useful basically the concept behind how we can connect pivot table with the drop down from dashboard. 